Hey friends, Mike here from Outreach Radio Chicago and Mercado Airways. I am so excited to let you in on a new service we are providing. If you or someone you know has an upstart or established business and company and would like to do some marketing on various platforms, you can do that right now by becoming an official sponsor and power all our interviews with athletes and celebrities. We assure quality audio in the beginning and ending of our interviews that will spotlight your amazing business and help bring in as much traffic as possible to all your outlets. From award-winning celebrities, Sundance Film Darling Director David Barrier joins us. Appreciate you having me on the show. To world champion athletes, UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz. Dominic, how you doing, buddy? I'm great. How are you, Mike? We promise you the absolute best from the entire staff of Mercado Airways. For more information, visit us on patreon.com slash Mercado Airways. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Subscribe to us on youtube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Like the radio show page on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. Follow us on Instagram, Mike Mercado 2333. And visit the website, mercadoairways.wordpress.com. Thank you for listening and all the support. What is going on, friends, and welcome into another episode of Outreach Radio Chicago. I'm your host, Michael Mercado, and I want to thank you so much for making us a part of your day. On today's show, we were supposed to have a special guest to uh, to talk to us about uh, some very important stuff, but um, due to some scheduling issues and just the radio life as it is, we're gonna push that interview back, and we'll get into we'll get into it uh, in a few weeks. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it, but. Because it was such a serious topic, I posted it out in social media, and it got me thinking, 2017, we want to make Outreach Radio Chicago the people show more than ever before. If you follow me on all social media platforms, you know I love to make things about us. I want to include all of us. And if you would like to see exactly what I'm talking about or all the projects that we're working on outside of Outreach Radio Chicago, I'm on Twitter at mmercado2333. I'm on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Do us a huge favor. Like us on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago, or you can follow me on Facebook at Michelangelo Mercado. We also have the Patreon, patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. We'll get into that in just a little bit. And we have the brand new website, mercadoairwaves.wordpress.com. And for any of you new listeners, if you want to hear any past show, go to youtube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Subscribe to us and you can listen to all our past episodes there. So if you follow me on any of these any of these platforms, you know all the work that we do outside of Outreach Radio Chicago. I wanted to make it very uh, I want to make it inclusive for all of us. I want it, I want it to be for all of us. I want to start conversations. I want you to feel like you're part of the show because you are. None of this is possible without you guys. None of this business, whether it's sports, politics, uh, community outreach, whatever the case may be, none of it means anything if it's not because of you guys. So on today's show, I I really wanted to get the pulse of what you guys are talking about. So uh, I went on social media and I basically just asked you guys, what social issues are weighing on your mind? And uh, first one comes from a a friend of mine who I've known for a long time, uh, serves our country, is also a police officer. His name is Sean and uh, he wants us to talk a little bit about veterans affairs, homeland security, and constitutional rights. And uh, I asked him, um, I asked Sean, what do you have a specific thought you wanna you wanna address or something that's been uh, bothering you? And for him, it was just a it's more of a talking point. He likes listening to that type of conversation, and I get it. In in 2017, we just got out of the most polarizing presidential race and election that we might ever see, and this is coming off the 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 tales of. What was an amazing 2008 and 2012 election, whether or not you like who won the presidency or not, it, those were high profile elections as well. And what happened this past this past election was never seen before, it was so uncommon that we will never get anything like that. So, yeah, I, I definitely get um, wanting to talk about that stuff. Uh, so really fast, just to kind of uh, give you my two cents, buddy. Um Veterans Affairs are such a huge deal to us here on Outreach Radio Chicago. We've done episodes with Heart of a Marine Foundation. You can actually visit them, their website, theheartofmarinefoundation.org. They're also on Facebook and on Twitter. They do some great stuff for people who have served our country, for families of people who have served and have lost their lives serving our country. So, uh, yeah, we definitely take that uh, to heart here. And uh, quite honestly, not a lot of uh, – it, it's – it's one of those subjects where we all talk about. We all wish that we can do more. Unfortunately, life is, is hard like that. Like, it's not every day you have money to be able to give to some of these organizations or you have an extra coat lying around or whatever the case may be. But the important thing is to keep a light on it and to keep 
keep attention as much possible, share as much attention as possible to that issue. And I agree with you, buddy. It is it is unfair sometimes that uh, our veterans get overlooked and um, the treatment isn't that great. But hopefully, whatever your political stance may be, uh, the presidency, Congress, the Senate, whatever the case may be, everybody in charge definitely has a little bit more compassion for our, our veterans and does something to help them. When it comes to Homeland Security, I'm not going to BS anybody and and pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I've never served. I've had countless um, members of my family serve all the branches of the military. So many friends serve. I can't tell you what's the best decision. I can't tell you if it's okay to keep certain immigrants in and certain immigrants out. I'm only second generation in this country. I'm blessed to be in this country. I'm blessed to be afforded the opportunity to do this for a living, to not have to break my back because of my grandfather, because of my father, my grandmother, my mother, because of the generations before me. They were given that opportunity. They took, they took that opportunity. And I feel I do, I'm do. i trying to do a service for the community, and, and without them being here, I wouldn't be able to do that. And if we've only helped one life doing Outreach Radio Chicago, our version of it, then I, it's, it's a success story to me, and it was worth it. I get the dangers of it. I do. But it scares me to think that the greatest country in the world would be so seclusive and not want anybody to be here and and to close borders. And it's just this is why I wanted to do this show, because it's an interesting topic that makes your your brain move. Yeah, I get being scared and there's evil people everywhere in the world, but there's evil people right next to you. But you got to hope that there's goodness that counterbalances it and that overtakes it. At least that's just how I feel. And it goes to the constitutional rights. Um, You mentioned that. I know a lot of friends were upset with the march that the the women's march, the sisters march that had a lot of men do it as well. And quite honestly, my thing, my thing has always been this when it comes to protesting or or any type of subject like that. Do it peacefully. Do it with intelligence. Do it with class, because then nobody can ignore you. Nobody can make your argument flawed because they said you looted, you riot, you destroyed property. No, they have to listen to your message. Otherwise, they're making excuses. Otherwise, they're putting their head in the sand. Whatever the subject may be. If you do it with intelligence, you do it with class, you do it the right way, they have to listen to you. And you do it with numbers, with all that, and you have the numbers, anything is possible. And we just saw that. Whatever your political view may be. It's just something to think about. So uh, thank you, Sean. I really appreciate you, man, uh, asking that question. Um, Here's actually a question that was related to the show we were going to do. Um, So down down the road, we're going to have a show about uh, Big Pharma. And again, if anybody who's listened to us here on Outreach Radio Chicago, you know our issues that we have with Big Pharma. We always try to find alternate uh, alternative medicine or at least... Give the viewer and the listener a different outlet, a different option, so they could do their own research. And it seems to me one of the big things that always keeps coming back is Big Pharma. So we wanted to do a show on it, and hopefully we get that to you guys out soon. And I, I brought the question out there to social media, and one of my good friends, Mallory, who's doing amazing work across the pond. You talk about uh, World Traveler. She's doing some amazing stuff. She basically comments and brought out her opinion. And it's, uh, they've quadrupled the sale of opiate drugs since the 90s, raised prices to unthinkable amounts, and then when users turn to cheaper alternatives like heroin and other street drugs, they're thrown in jail instead of treated for addiction. Also, I can't understand how they can sell fentanyl and also say marijuana is a deadly drug with a straight face. Big Pharma is literally getting away with murder and exploitation all in the name of greed. You don't see this anywhere else in the world. The prices, the addiction, the deaths... The number of people prescribed, and it's true. Look at again. I, I I get a lot of people don't like the whole healing, um, meditation, uh, the earth is one with us uh, type of vibes and that type of lifestyle. Me personally, I think it's great. It's another outlet, another place to do research and find different things. And then there's people who whatever the doctor gives them, whatever pill, whatever liquid the doctor gives them, they're gonna take it without one question. The problem with all this is the power is in your hands. And that's always been the goal of Outreach Radio Chicago. So it should be the goal for anybody. The choice is in your hand. You have to make the decision to take these things. You have to make the decision to not do the proper research. And I'm with you. We already know 
that big pharma is kicking our butts. Look at the treatment for cancer or or these EpiPens or whatever the case. We see it every day. These companies are looking for money and not to make you better, but to keep you alive. This isn't this isn't a theory. This isn't a conspiracy theory against doctors and and companies. This is fact. You living longer means you buy more drugs means they make more money. Whoever they may be, however many people may be on the chair, how, if whether it's the shareholders or the CEOs or the board members, whatever the case may be, that's how they're making their money. And sure, I'm sure, I am sure that there's medication out there that helps people. But that ain't one of them. That's not one of the ways for that to happen. And that's just the upsetting part of it that we know so much in today's day and age. I've had some amazing guests sit here and tell me that it's all because of the almighty dollar. And I, look at I'm I'm no fool. You, you don't wake up every single day to not go to work and make money. Money rules the world. The only two real things in this world are the hours and the money. That's it. Now everything in between is great, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be fooled and think that money has nothing to do with it. So yeah, there may be this ultimate cure. Marijuana may be the cure of all cures. It may be. But if you can't make a dollar out of it, who's going to take that initiative? What kind of person is gonna do that? And that is something that bothers me. That is something that hurts. That is something I wish. And I hope that we're able to 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 move forward in the future and and people live long, healthy lives without being addicted. And on top of that, one of my other friends, Amanda, talks about her brother and two types of medication that they they tried to ban and you know that has caused overdoses and suicides and all that is chemical unbalance. That's stuff that's going into your body that wasn't supposed to. And each person's different. Each person's chemistry is different. Yeah, we may have a basic idea of how the human anatomy works and, and how cells work and all this, but like each person is different. How, to the littlest thing, how I, I, how I ingest pizza is different than you, let alone hardcore drugs, even if they're legal or not. So to Amanda and Mallory, I promise you guys, we'll, get, we'll go deeper into this as soon as we have the, the right guest on because uh, they're very important topics, and I really do appreciate you guys taking such, such care and at paying so much attention to this. So thank you, ladies, on that one. All right, here's another social one from uh, one of my friends, Matt. And um, this conversation actually sprung up from disagreements about that the march that happened all over the country over the weekend. Again, I'm not going to try to persuade anybody. I'm not. There's nothing I'm going to tell you guys that's going to change your political opinion. This is what Matt says. If millions of people around the world feel like they should come together and make their voices heard, then so be it. Question I have is, why does it matter to you? And this is a subject that I wanted to talk about on Outreach for a little while, just because, look, it, I get it. I always talk about how I feel sometimes the voiceless or the people who don't have the proper platform need help to get people to, to talk for them. And then there's always that segment that feels like they're being attacked. Look, it, the truth of the matter is this. Not everybody's a racist. Not everybody is anti-feminism. Not everybody is pro-religion, anti-religion. People are complex. People have different type of emotions and feelings. And, and at the end of the day, we're animals still. So for the guys who are upset about these women, at least to me, I like to think that it's for the for the confused ones, not not the macho guys who always just want to be in charge and have this Neanderthal uh, uh, way of views. But if it really feels like you're being attacked, like somebody's telling you, no, no, you don't like women because of this, this and that. That's not true, guys. That's not OK. All these people want even beyond this woman march thing in this sisterhood. People want to be heard. People want to feel like their voice matters. And I said it earlier, I'm second generation here. And I I feel like my family's come a long way in such a short time. And we're one we're some of the lucky ones. But there's not that's that's the all over the country. People feel that way. That they're just trying to get to a point that it's an even ground. Imagine feeling like you're behind the eight ball already. Why is that fair that the country built on immigration? is now faulting you for it. 
And I'm not talking about illegal immigrants. There is a whole, whole, that's a whole different carton of eggs to talk about. Because now we're talking about legal things and we're talking about how that affects our money. And again, it, it, it all trickles down. This is such a broad statement. And I get it. I'm not, I'm not naive. I know there's more that goes into this. Look, if you do it peacefully and you just, if you feel, if that many people felt like they weren't being heard or that they were being threatened, how would you react? And again, this is not about a political stance, about a guy in office. There'll be another president. There was, there was 44 behind him. There'll be 44 after him. That's not the problem. The problem is, is when the person next to you doesn't want to listen or doesn't want to understand one way or the other. So I, I implore both sides. If you're a woman and it's, it has to do with serious, serious issues like abortion, have your opinion. Stay by it. Be firm. Be classy. Be intelligent. But listen to the other side. Because then you gain more knowledge. And you understand now. Both sides. And I'm not saying, women, you need to understand this side. No, 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 no. We all need to understand each other. That's the truth. I may not agree with half the politics of half my friends. Whatever side of the, of the fence they may be. But I'm going to listen to them. And I'm going to understand them. Because I expect them to do the same for me. That's why. It's nothing else. Not our guns. Not our flag. Not our ego. Not football or American pie. That is what makes our country great. All right. We're going to take one last one. Uh, this one has to from my friend Nicholas Mortison. Uh, Nick Mortison. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, he writes, how about prescribing drugs almost immediately instead of advocating for exercise and nutrition plans? Education for individuals who are at risk for developing obesity-related conditions. Too many times are meds given without any further lifestyle changes and instructions so individuals' health does not get better. It simply stay the same, and then, and then as the bad habits continue, they will progressively get worse. There are supposed to be at least three months of healthy interventions before meds are given for these populations. Thank you, Nick. Uh, yeah, this is uh, coming from a guy who uh, who is always very serious, very active as we were uh, growing up in high school. And you're right. I, again, uh, I've had tons of doctors come in and 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 tell me about these uh, these health diets. And that's the thing. I'm actually in the middle of a diet right now. I've lost 11 pounds in just around 10 days. Uh, eating healthily, uh, eating healthy, making sure my calorie count is at the right amount, making sure I'm doing the right amount of exercising. Uh, I'm not. There's no magic pill, and I think that's the problem in general. Whether it's health related, when it comes to fitness. Or mental health. We are too fast to try to fix a problem. We are. And it has to deal with the, the fast gratification that we live in in 2017 now. I mean, when you could go on Google, right? And you could find the answer to almost any question in three seconds. That's the life we live in. Text messaging. Facebook Messenger. Instagram. Twitter. Doesn't matter. From grocery shopping to doctors, it's instant gratification. And we live in a world now where we want results fast. We want the results now. I don't have time to wait. And unfortunately, that happens the same, I believe, to people who make money to give you these pills and then make money when you come back in because you haven't been cured of anything. And you're right. It's the last resort. There should be a time period. And and quite honestly, who knows for some of these people when it comes to certain health issues, how a little bit of a diet and a few times at the at the gym or or taking a walk would help them out. All of us. Whether it's to try to get more sleep. To have more energy. Whatever the case may be. But thank you for the questions everybody. I really appreciate you all getting involved. Uh, this was a very quick. Very special Outreach Radio Chicago. We're going to do a couple of these every once in a while. We're calling them Outreach Radio Chicago. The People Show. We're just going to talk. And and see what you guys have to say. And, and hopefully we can start a conversation. And a discussion. So that. You know, we can all become a little bit smarter and maybe even love each other a little bit more. So that'll do it for us, guys. Uh, breaking news for any of you movie fans. Star Wars has officially announced the title for Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. I got goosebumps. I'm shaking. I'm fanboying out. I need to get out of here. Follow me everywhere in the universe. I'm on Twitter at mercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago and Michael Angelo Mercado. I'm on Instagram, Mike Mercado 23 Three, three. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. We have all our past episodes of Outreach Radio Chicago right there. 
We have the Patreon, patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. For anybody who listens to us outside of Outreach Radio Chicago and would like to support all of our interviews, all of our shows, please visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. We have two tiers. With the first tier, you can actually get every single one of our ad-free episodes with our athlete and celebrity guests before anybody else on social media. And we have a tier for any of you with a small business or company that would like to get into advertisement and promos on Mercado Airwaves. Check that out. That's patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. And we have the website, mercadoairwaves.wordpress.com. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We will see you on the next episode of Outreach Radio Chicago. Take us home, Hob. Hey friends, Mike here from Outreach Radio Chicago and Mercado Airwaves. I am so excited to let you in on a new service we are providing. If you or someone you know has an upstart or established business and company and would like to do some marketing on various platforms, you can do that right now by becoming an official sponsor and power all our interviews with athletes and celebrities. We assure quality audio in the beginning and ending of our interviews that will spotlight your amazing business and help bring in as much traffic as possible to all your outlets. From award-winning celebrities, Sundance Film Darling Director David Barrier joins us. Appreciate you having me on the show. To world champion athletes, UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz. Dominic, how you doing, buddy? I'm great. How are you, Mike? We promise you the absolute best from the entire staff of Mercado Airways. For more information, visit us on Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Follow us on Twitter at MMercado2333. Subscribe to us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado2333. Like the radio show page on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. Follow us on Instagram, Mike Mercado2333. And visit the website, MercadoAirwaves.wordpress.com. Thank you for listening and all the support. Hey friends, Mike here from Outreach Radio Chicago and Mercado Airways. I am so excited to let you in on a new service we are providing. If you or someone you know has an upstart or established business and company and would like to do some marketing on various platforms, you can do that right now by becoming an official sponsor and power all our interviews with athletes and celebrities. We assure quality audio in the beginning and ending of our interviews that will spotlight your amazing business and help bring in as much traffic as possible to all your outlets. From award-winning celebrities, Sundance Film Darling Director David Barrier joins us. Appreciate you having me on the show. To world champion athletes, UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz. Dominic, how you doing, buddy? I'm great. How are you, Mike? We promise you the absolute best from the entire staff of Mercado Airways. For more information, visit us on Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Follow us on Twitter at MMercado2333. Subscribe to us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado2333. Like the radio show page on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. Follow us on Instagram, Mike Mercado2333. And visit the website, MercadoAirwaves.wordpress.com. Thank you for listening and all the support.